if you can give us 15 minutes a day, most days a week, that you're going to really feel some dividends in the long run with regards to your back. None of the exercises were really hard. So if you stick with them a week or two into it, I think anybody would be able to work into it. And they've been really helpful, so it's definitely worth worth it. The core is super important for stabilizing our low back and preventing the stresses and injurious processes that cause us pain in the low back and in the legs. This is really great for posture, for its tension in the base of the neck and the upper back. What you want to do is squeeze the shoulder blades down and back and think about your elbows going into your back pockets. We should do this 10 times, 10 repetitions and hold for five seconds. This is such a great exercise for tension in the shoulders and the upper back. One tip about this exercise is not to shrug the shoulders and hold them up. It's a stretch. While lying on the back, hold your knee and gently pull it up towards your chest. It's important to focus on drawing in the stomach, trying to keep the small of the back flat on the table or on the ground. We don't want to feel any sharp pain in the back or in the legs while doing this maneuver, but it's a real nice stretch of the hips and the low back area. I like to do this 10 repetitions, holding for five seconds, and keeping the off leg bent or flexed helps keep some of the stresses down in the low back while performing this stretching exercise. We just want a gentle stretch in the gluteal area and in the low back. While you're on your hands and knees in a crawl position, raise up your back and arch it to the ceiling. Next, return to a lowered position and arch your back in the opposite direction. As you're going up into the camel position, you want to think about drawing in the abdominal, the stomach muscle slightly, pulling in the belly button. You want to repeat this for a total of 10 times and hold each position for five seconds. This is a great stretch to work on pelvic range of motion and mobility stretching out the entire spine. During this cat and camel, you want to feel a nice, gentle stretch in your back, never any sharp pains in the back. My pain is maybe 10% of what it used to be. Um, and for a chronic pain sufferer, that's a big deal. I'm a lot happier. <laughs> While lying on your back, tighten the lower abdominal stomach muscles and squeeze the buttocks and then slowly raise the buttocks off the floor. This should be pain-free and you want to hold the position for five seconds and then slowly lower the back back down to the table or to the floor. This is a really good way of tightening up the abs and gaining strength to stabilize the lumbar spine. During the lower trunk rotations, you want to lie on your back with your knees bent and gently rock the knees side to side to the left and to the right. You don't want to be experiencing any sharp pain in the back or the legs. You want to feel a gentle stretch in the low back. You want to be doing this 10 times each side, holding for three to five seconds. During this exercise, you want to focus on keeping the shoulders down on the table or on the ground and not raising them up, keeping the upper back flat on the table while you're performing the stretch. This is a great stretch to restore spinal mobility and to strengthen the stomach muscles and the flank muscles repeating 10 times each side and holding for three to five seconds at each position. One good exercise is called standing extensions. While standing with the hands on the hips, leaning the back gently to arch the back, holding for two, three, four, or five seconds and repeating 10 times. There should be no sharp pain in the back or down the legs. The goal is a nice, comfortable range of motion, stretching out the stomach muscles, opening up the hips. For all of these exercises, the goal should be normal breathing. Disclaimer is that you should avoid a feeling of sharp pain in the back or down the leg. This is a quadruped, alternate arm and leg, sometimes known as a Superman pose. While in the crawling position, you slowly draw your leg and opposite arm upwards. The arm and leg should be straight and fully outstretched, held for a count of five. This is a great strengthening exercise for core stability. While you're doing this, you want to think about drawing in the stomach, keeping the small of the back flat as possible and horizontal as possible. It's a wonderful exercise for core strength. 
We're not looking for a washboard stomach. We're looking for a set of easy exercises that have high dividends to preventing low back pain. You may get sore after doing them once or twice, which means they're working. And I think some people might get frightened or turned off by that initially, but definitely give it a month or two months maybe to work through the soreness and build up strength, and they definitely pay off. You'll see the difference.